oh my god, it's the start of eclipse season. Today we're going to talk about the new moon in Taurus happening April 30th. It's happening in the second house. The second house of cash, property, values. We've been talking a lot about values recently. I mean, let's look at it from a very basic perspective of just self. Like, if you value yourself, you attract more value into your life. I feel like that is like the overarching message of this new moon. Um, it is about attracting things into your life that you want based on what you value. And it starts with yourself. I mean, that's just the basic 101s of this new moon in Taurus. It is an eclipse though, which means that everything's going to feel pretty intense. And I feel like that's supported by Uranus hanging out in the sky if you're watching and keeping up with the weekly energy readings. Uranus goes conjunct to the sun like next week sometime, but it's already like close enough to possibly feel its effects. My favorite cardologist, whose name is Diamond, who goes by Diamond, she, she says Uranus doesn't care. And that's the kind of change that is going to occur. Uh, it might be a little bit of a shakeup because the universe is saying, well, if this is what you really want, well, then I need to, you know, life needs to change in certain ways for you to uh, be able to accept these changes. So, you know, to that end, let's look at, you know, stability. Taurus is a sign of, of stability. I mean, <laughs> to an extreme end, like stubbornness. But Taurus just cares a whole lot. Taurus is the most loyal sign of, of the zodiac. Um, Taurus has everything to do with how we care for ourselves, how we care for others, um, how we create value um, for ourselves and others and in life, even material wealth. And so if you're saying to yourself right now, I have everything that I need and I've created my ideal life and everything is stable that's fine, but <laughs> I feel like there's always going to be room for some sort of shifting. So I would just say be aware of that. Um, a good way to spend the weekend might be to um, get together with loved ones, like people you care about, people you trust, people can make, make you really feel grounded and like in yourself. Um, what else did I want to say about the new moon? I feel like I, I hit all the points. It's a time to wish for exactly what you want with an increased self-esteem and financial security. Um, get rich in your mind before you can get rich in real life. I feel like that's such a... <laughs> I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even want to say it. Um, I'll just say this. I feel like that's something that like people who sell on Amazon say. Get rich in your life make bank which is funny and I guess like if you want that that's cool it doesn't seem very attractive to me but that's that's not the point it's not my place to interject my opinions um, on what other people want but that's what this is about going after what you really want regardless of what other people have to say or what they care or you know whether or not they care because you're unique you bring value to the world and every time you don't pursue the thing that makes you feel really alive and that makes you feel um, just grounded within yourself, we lose a piece of magic. We lose a little piece of the magic that the, that the world and the experience of being here really has to offer. So working with this energy means admitting that something needs to change. Invite in prosperity, stay grounded while shifts occur. Keep a ritual of grounding. So yeah, um, really think about what, what wants to change in your life. And also think about what wants to say exactly the same. Create a ritual of grounding, I feel like, is, is a really important one. Um, and you'll see it in next week's energy reading. It, it keeps coming up because there's, there's so many things that are going to come up. How are you going to maintain your own um, centeredness? is the lesson of this new moon in Taurus. How can you, how can you um, honor yourself by keeping a ritual of self-care? And self-care can be anything. It doesn't have to be putting on a pink robe, 
taking a bath. Although, personally, for me, it is one of my favorite things to do as I sit here in my luxe pink robe. I wore this specifically for this video. One more shuffle and we'll get into a story in the cards. That's where you want it. Okay, new moon Sagittarius, luck is on your side. Oh yeah. You know, new moon Sag was the last eclipse season, was November. So I love that this is showing up. Uh, this card basically says that it's a good time to put yourself out there. It's not enough just to be in this like open receptive state of saying like, okay, let all the good things come. No, you kind of need to, um, you know, put it out there. You can do that by speaking, by writing, taking some sort of action, ritualizing something. So for example, in this case, write a check for the amount of money you'd like to receive if it's about money. Um, do visualizations of what your ideal life could look like um, in all of its aspects. Um, what is your relationship to money? Maybe that wants to change the way that you make money. Maybe you've been uh, working for, you know, some company and now you want to go off on your own. What does working from home look like to you? You know, like, or working for yourself. What does it allow you to do? So get into the lifestyle aspects of your desires and realize that that, that lifestyle is what is, is being manifested. That touches every part of your life. Why am I shuffling again? Oh, well, <laughs> we did it. Oh, boy. Surrender to the full moon. Yeah. I mean, and then allow the change to occur. I, I mean, it is, it's both. There's a fine line between pushing forward versus uh, manifesting energy, which is like creating, co-creating with the universe versus like forcing things to happen. So there is a um, something here about as well, um, put it into the world and then surrender. As in, um, surrendering to me is releasing um, any expectation of outcome. Because the thing that you want will be delivered to you just not exactly in the way that you expect. And so you do need to be open and receptive to um, all the, the nuances of the ways that could happen. Here we go. Full moon in Taurus is the final card. Your dreams need a practical plan. Hmm. Yeah, what are, what are we manifesting? Because this feels like it's, it's really on track. Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, like what are your plans for this year? Like in general, what kind of overarching themes exist in your life right now? I feel like you need to sort of map it out. Make a mind map of how you can get to where you want to be. And then take every action, every action that you take, take it with that goal in mind. So you can look, look at it through the lens of what's important to me, what's going to help me and others. Mm -hmm. Underneath we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is um, likely work-related, but if it's not work-related, oh, there it is. If it's not work-related, it's something that, a uh, skill that you have, or something you've been investing your efforts into building some sort of skill a work situation ship. I feel like this is extremely positive. We have the Ace of Wands again. Justice. Death. Libra Scorpio. Quarter Moon. Ace of Cups. The Tower. Queen of Pentacles. That's nice. Four of Swords and the Three of Cups. Whoa! This is really good! I feel like this is extremely positive. The Ace of Cups is here, so this might be something about love as well. It 
it could be self-love, honestly, because we it's also it's followed by the four of swords, which is like rest and meditation. This there there's definitely a message here of needing to come into balance with with oneself. Make sure that your cup is full. Don't manifest from an em empty cup. That's not going to work. Um, so what I'm getting strongly here is some sort of like, there needs to be some sort of gratitude practice. Be grateful for what you currently have. The Queen of Pentacles, she lives the manifestation that we all try to create, that the magician really creates or is working toward. She lives it. She also nurtures the element of the pentacle, which is um, earth, groundedness, value. So... What are we gleaning from this? I feel like if you want something new, you, you have desires, you have the will to create something new in your life, it starts with having gratitude for what you already have. That is how you get into your prime manifesting zone. That's it. That's how it works. Um, the next step, I feel love this is like a very clear roadmap. Next step, you know, Libra energy balance, um, Ace of Cups, four, uh, four of Swords balancing your own emotions your connection to self getting quiet meditating being very clear be very clear about what it is that you want to change and then we have in this third column death the tower and the three of cups yeah i mean lots of changing energy this is your this is uranus showing up right pluto pluto and uranus are here um, definitely check out next week's energy reading because there's a lot more on that in there of like how that might show up. But we're ending on the Three of Cups. That is amazing celebratory energy. It's about being able to uh, be your authentic self among, um, you know, a cohort of people, your peers, your family. And this is about being celebrated for who you really are. Oh, now I'm thinking about a song. I know I haven't done songs in a long time well, with these readings. I used to do them with the dailies. But the song lyric that's coming to me right now is... Um, oh, what is it? Oh, my God. Oh, it's going to kill me. It might just be... You know that when you take that leap, it's bound to be legendary. When you take the leap, it's bound to be legendary. Yeah, that's the lyric. That's powerful. Wow. Let's go back to something I said earlier. Like, if you're watching this video and you're like, but my life is great. My life is awesome. I, that's dope. I mean, you, <laughs> you may not feel the effects of these changes happening. Maybe they're more subtle. Um, or you've already done half of the work of getting into this place of gratitude for what you have. Uh, and maybe it'll be a little bit easier for you to... Um, accept the things that may come up here in the next month or so. The full moon in Taurus card has come out and I, I've talked about um, the, the micro and the macro um, phases of the moon. Sorry, not phases of the moon, uh, cycles of the moon. So normally new moon to full moon we do like every two weeks right and then back again but the so new moon Taurus to full moon Scorpio both eclipses this is like eclipse season but we also have the new moon Taurus and then the full moon Taurus showed up that's six months from now which is in <laughs> September October yeah of course because that's the Scorpio time so um what do you, your dreams need a practical plan. What are you going to do in these next six months? That could be like a journal prompt or just something to think about. Because um, while there are these like, there's, there's always daily changes in energy, weekly um, changes in, and, you know, life changes on a daily basis. 
But I feel like what it's asking you, what the cards are asking right now is how are you going to um, do the work? This is about integrating your desires into your life for real, like to stay. Um, and to do that, there's going to be, you're going to have to have a lot of trust, a lot of, a lot of gratitude, even for the things that don't work out, the lessons as they come, and then the learning of those lessons, and then moving on. But don't let yourself get disheartened. I feel like we're, we're oscillating between points of like intense inspiration um, and, and desire um, and then this need for coming back to self and reevaluating like is this really what I want and is, am I doing this in the way that um, really fulfills me or is this something that's taking me out of my zone, um, out of my values zone, for example. You know, I believe that the universe will bring all the right opportunities at the right time for us to learn the lessons when they need to happen. There's no missing opportunities. There's no FOMO. There's no... There's no... Um, how do I want to say that? There should be no like fear around integration because it, it, it happens on its own time. So don't get hot on yourself if you feel like you don't know what you want, you're, you're not understanding necessarily the prompts, just sort of stick with it. And honestly, take what resonates and just leave the rest because you don't need to memorize every single detail. Um, the Ace of Cups here, I feel like is really, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of, um, sorry, the Wands, Go where your inspiration leads, go where your heart leads you, and then don't worry so much about the rest. Um, because things around you will change as you align yourself with those, those feelings, your gut feelings, your heart feelings. How do we feel? Should I pull some clarifying cards some last messages I feel like this this feels really good like a like a a complete a completion thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video